2016 Mustang GT. Hmm. Something's wrong. I noticed this when I was uh, putting in my brush spoiler. And it's pretty upsetting. Let's open up the trunk. Check that out. One and two. I put some uh, paint over it when I was installing the spoiler just to let it hold on. And I was uh, gonna fix it. So it's been about two weeks now, I found some time. We're gonna go to Home Depot and we are going to fix the problem. What's happening is it's hitting here, the plastics. This is a 16 Mustang GT. So, whoever has a 16 or a 15 should watch out for that. Um, I'm gonna go fix that and uh, we should be all ready. Tuesday I get my tires, which is exciting. Um, I'll post up a video about that. Uh, so let's head to Home Depot and see what's up. All right, it is time to go to Home Depot. Start the car up and head out. All right, so I'm gonna explain why that trunk issue upsets me so much, okay? So, you buy a $40,000 car and your trunk naturally wears within a year and you possibly get rust at that point. That's what is upsetting me about the car or what was happening. It's not okay. You don't your trunk shouldn't rust. That should be something that's thought of before the car's put up for sale, you know? So now I have to go myself and fix this. Now I gave Ford a call and they were they were helpful. They just said really just go to the dealership and they'll fix it for you. And maybe they could fix the recurring issue. But I'm not gonna go to the dealership and leave the car there for a day or two just to do something that's so simple as repainting it and putting something over it so it doesn't uh, so the plastics doesn't touch you know so it's kind of pointless for me to, to do that to not have my car for two or three days and I have to put a hundred dollars as an inspection fee to fix a little problem like this so I have to pay for the car just need So let's head back to the house and paint, let it dry, and then uh, apply, see what happens. Alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. You got 91%, just so it's the closest thing to 100 because I'm going to mix 50% water and 50% alcohol. Some touch up paint and the scotch tape I bought. So we're going to mix uh, the alcohol with, with the water. I like to just do it in a little cup. So it's like this, see? A little cup. It's just so easy to take the measurements, just do half or about half water and about half with the isopropyl alcohol. Alright, so now I got the cup, 50% isopropyl alcohol and 50% water, and then you have the paint. Uh, I have the magnetic gray car, so it's magnetic gray paint. I got it at the dealership, it was actually the best deal. Um, and then the scotch tape. So. I'm gonna dip that, I'm gonna dip some, uh, you know, either um, 
I usually just use paper towel, but I would really go for um, some microfiber cloth just so you don't create damage. But because I'm inside of the trunk, I'm just going to do it with paper towel. But, uh, you know, if you're doing any outside work, just be really careful because it, you could damage your paint by using that product. Now, you do a 50-50 mix because the isopropyl alcohol will thin your paint if it's, uh, if it's at full-fledged 100%, no water. So you want to do a 50-50 blend so you can clean up whatever's on the paint. At the same time, don't thin your paint out, you know? So let's, uh, let's do that and uh, let's start our painting after we're cleaned up. Um, and then uh, we'll apply the scotch. So let's go out to the car. Okay. Make sure I'm gonna close my garage when I paint after I paint, uh, just because I don't want anything getting on it uh, from outside. So you're just gonna clean that up really well. Okay. And the paint's not gonna come off the one that I had under it, as I was telling you, it doesn't, just to clean off the dirt out of, off of it, you know, like that. Just so any dirty part of that is gone. And then I'm gonna use the dry side of the paper to dry it off. So it's nice and smooth for the paint. So, there you go, should be clean. Now we're gonna paint those two sides. And then uh, I'm actually gonna do one layer of uh, factory colored paint and then I'm going to clear coat it. So let's do that and uh, should fix the problem uh, for the moment and then we're going to we're going to um, also put on the 3M. All right so I'm going to get that done and show you guys how it turns out. All right so I'm done painting here let me show you. Paint there and there. It's not the greatest but uh, after I cover it it'll fix the issue. 3M tape will not allow it to touch this piece of plastic, um, so we should be good there. I was debating taking this off completely, but I just don't want to deal with uh, what taking this off with other problems it could cause. So I'd rather just deal with the problem I have right now, and then uh, that should fix the issue permanently. So um, we're going to go back inside, let this dry, then apply the clear coat, and then let that dry, and then we should be all good. All right, the garage is closed and uh, the paint is dry. I'm going to now apply 3M tape, which I will cut to size and then apply on there. I'm gonna leave the red side on. I'm gonna do that, see how it looks. All right, so applied those. Uh, not the best looking thing, but should get the job done. Let's try to shut it. Yeah, it looks like that's shut. So I'm gonna keep these on, see how long these last, and also see if any other side wears or anything else wears. So we should be good for now. Hey, so we fixed the issue on the trunk. So if you guys like the video, just give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it. I'm gonna keep you guys posted over the you know progress of the fix. Maybe if it goes bad, I'll let you guys know. Uh, I heard this fix worked for a lot of people, so let's see how it goes for me. So I'll be posting more videos. I'll get my wheels on Tuesday, so I'll post a video on those. I have some uh, cool wheels coming in, so uh, keep watching the channel. You'll see those come in. Thanks for watching, guys.